Daniel and Amanda, is it your will today to become one in covenant of marriage? Will you love, comfort, and keep one another in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, be faithful unto each other as long as you both shall live? If so, then say, I do. I do. And to the audience here, <laughs> the hesitation, yeah, hit him with the hezzy there. To the audience, will you all as witnesses promise to do everything in your power to uphold these two in their marriage? If so, then respond, we will. Wow, <laughs> you look great. Wow. I'm so wow. <laughs> you look wonderful. I'm really happy. Yeah, me too. I, Amanda, join my life to you, Daniel to laugh with you in joy, to grieve with you in sorrow, to grow with you in love, and to serve you with humility in Christ. As long as we both shall live, this is my solemn vow. I, Daniel, join my life to you, Amanda, to laugh with you in joy, to grieve with you in sorrow, to grow with you in love, and to serve you in humility in Christ. As long as we both shall live, this is my solemn vow. says, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. In your relationship with one another, in your marriage with one another, have the same exact mindset of Jesus, who being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by be becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Mm -hmm. 